back again with another KOF 15 character trailer and this week it is the Sandman himself from KOF 14. Now he's not a character I played too much in 14 but he actually was someone when the game first came out I was considering um, using as one of my main characters but for one reason or another I just never did. Um, so I am curious to see how he has changed up in 15 since I do know his moveset fairly well. Uh, I will say I don't imagine he's going to have many changes. I mean, even his design isn't changed that much. Not that I think anyone was really expecting it to be that different. Uh, but if there is one thing I want changed, I hope they change his climax. Because it is really lame. You know, for a man that can summon sand clones, it's really lame that like his ultimate attack is basically just hitting you with a giant pile of sand. I mean, it's kind of comical, but, you know. Uh, but let's just get right into it. All right, we're back on the metal, uh, the metal slug stage. All right, you can kind of see his face a bit more than in 14. Not too much more though, but definitely, definitely a little bit more. All right, every, everything looking pretty much the same. There was a new effect on that one move though. All right, that super's the same. Yeah, he still got the spinning super. I think that was new. I don't remember him being able to, like, summon the sand upwards. Yeah, that move with summoning the sand upwards is definitely new. But I don't think we've seen sand clones yet. Ah, his climax is the same. Oh, man. <laughs> I really was hoping they'd make it different. Uh, yeah, pretty short trailer, but that last combo at the end was pretty cool looking. I might even go back and look at it one more time. But, uh, one very interesting thing to note about this trailer is I don't think we saw the sand clones anywhere. I might even just go back and rewatch the whole thing real quick, because, you know, the sand clones were a pretty big part of his gameplay. One of his best moves, if I'm not mistaken. But I don't think we saw it anywhere. You know, maybe they just weren't show- oh no, okay, so he- yeah, th there was the sand clone. I, I was worried for a moment that they got rid of it. I was gonna be like, would they really get rid of one of his coolest uh, features? But yeah, that upward sand move- okay, there's the sand clone, I don't know how I missed that. I think it's because, um, in 14, you know, most of the time you see people doing it, it's as an EX move. And EX moves in uh, KOF 14 have like a blue effect to it. And it's very apparent on his clone move, so I guess my mind just didn't register it. But uh, now to look at this combo real quick, because this looked pretty sick. This, this is pretty sick. And the thing is, that can be probably made longer quite easily. But uh, yeah, I am disappointed that his climax is the same, because it was not super cool in 14. Uh, as far as team, I'd imagine he's going to be on Team Ash, since one of the reasons he entered the tournament last time was to help bring back Ash. And his one of his endings in 14 shows him with Elizabeth going and getting Ash. So I'd be pretty surprised if he's on any other team, but I guess we'll have to see.